What's going on everybody, it's Sona Kim here, and in this video, I'll be giving you the ultimate strategy to approaching that hot girl on the street. And also the one thing that 99% of guys are doing wrong that makes girls respond to them very bad. And make sure you stay until the end because I'll be giving you the best ways that work every single time when you approach a girl anywhere. But really quickly, I'm Sona Kim, America's face of dating, and I've helped over 100,000 people in 30 different countries. In my exclusive program, Arrows, I teach men not only how to attract and date, but also how to win back the woman of their dreams. Click the link in the description to talk to us and see if you're a great fit for the program and to get my exclusive help. Before we get into the actual approaches and how to actually do them, we need to talk about the pre-approach. A lot of guys that come to me and they ask to be in my program and to work with me, they want to approach girls, but when I give them exactly what to follow, they still can't do it because they get nervous. And I understand, truly. When I first began actively cold approaching women in the mall or on the streets, I was scared out of my mind. I was being trained by one one of my friends who was a world-class club promoter. And to break my fear of talking to women, he had me, as you can guess, talk to the hottest girls. The first time he had me go to the mall to talk to girls, they were everywhere. He sent me to the classiest mall in the city. And I spent four hours walking around that mall. There was beautiful women everywhere. And I couldn't even approach one. I had the whole script that he gave me and I couldn't even speak it seemed like. So the most important thing to do first is to warm up. Break that shell of nervousness by tackling the lowest hanging fruits. If you're at the mall, talk to a clerk or a worker and strike up a conversation. It's important that you get those nerves out of your system because by the time you talk to two to three people, momentum builds and you actually get rid of that nervousness and that anxiety. And from there, slowly transition into talking to the cutest girls around that area, specifically the ones that make you nervous. But this works if you go into the library or the club or really school or anywhere. Don't forget to talk to the lowest hanging fruit to use them as a stepping stone to where you want to be. The second thing to understand is that if you are always stuck in your head when talking to girls, you must realize that almost everybody is. All of the flaws that you see about yourself, she actually probably doesn't even notice a lot of them. This is known as the spotlight effect. Social psychologists discovered that basically everyone believes there's a spotlight shining on them in public, and it is making them believe that it's highlighting all of their flaws and errors and mistakes. But if everybody is thinking this, then it means that everybody is so focused on themselves and not the person that they are are approaching. A young man joined my program about two months ago and he's still in high school and he said that he got extreme social anxiety when giving a presentation to the whole class and we broke it almost instantly when I told him, okay, how many presentations do you remember that all your classmates did? He was like, zero? And I was like, exactly. Nobody is focused on you. They are focused on themselves. Instead, you want to capture her attention. If you can get the girl out of her own head when she is talking to you and you can also keep her captivated, then you are going to do incredible things while you're talking and approaching women. She wants a love story, and she wants a man who is able to hold her attention span. She wants a man who is not in his own head, a man who is fully present in the moment. Because if you are stuck in your own head when you are approaching a girl, she tends to think that you are hiding something. Now let's jump into the three best approaching styles that I've given to hundreds of men across the world. And these approaching styles has brought them an abundance of dates with the women in their cities. And make sure you stay until number one because it will blow your mind how effective it really is. But number three is the direct approach. You typically use this one on the streets or at the mall, specifically in a place where you will probably Probably never see the girl again. So, you lay all of your cards out on the table. When I was at the mall years ago, I walked up to a girl and I said, hey, I, I saw you from back there and honestly, I, I thought you were stunning. And so I had to come up and actually say hi to you and talk to you. She was with her friend and they both looked at each other and started blushing and giggling. Where are you from? I asked her. She told me that she was from California and then she asked where I was from. And here's a pro tip is that when a girl asks for your name or for something information about you, then it typically means that she is actually interested in you. And to be playful, don't just answer her questions. You want to make her invest, so you need to reverse it back onto her. Hmm, let me ask you, where do you think I'm from actually? When she guesses, you want to then tease her on her answers. You are gaining your value back in the conversation because you complimented first, pulling her in, and then you tease her on her guesses, pushing her away. This is known as push-pull, the most famous flirting tactic that works on every girl. And if you want more tricks like that, then make sure to watch all of our other playlists on how to actually make a girl chase you right now. But from there, I simply said, I wish I could stay and talk, but I actually have to run. Is it cool with you if I text you later? Make sure to never overstay your welcome. Get in, 
flirt and tease, and then get the number and then get out. Unless she's by herself, then you could probably set up an instant date right there. Approach style number two is known as the stare down. This one is more bold, which means possibly you will get rejected more often, but you are also rolling the dice, which means your rewards are gonna be much better if this actually works. Most guys are really scared of rejection, but you have to look at rejection as a good thing actually. My brother was super scared of rejection, and he would get super down when a girl rejected him just like I used to. But rejection and failure is part of a man's life. As an entrepreneur in his 20s, I get rejected daily, and honestly I like that because it means that I'm putting myself out of my comfort zone. Rejection only happens when you're pushing yourself, and if you continuously push yourself then in a few months you will considerably outclass your peers. It will be like a night and day difference. But this is a story from my best selling book Waking the Core of Man, and if you haven't then pick up a copy on Amazon. If you want to know the best flirting strategies that I can't talk about in this video. But there was this gorgeous girl in the club and she kept giving me the eye. So I was like, <laughs> Here we go, baby. So I walked up to her and her group and then I said, hey, I saw you checking me out back there, so I thought I'd help you out and come introduce myself. Instant attraction and instant laughs from the girl. And if you can make her laugh, then it will increase her attraction multiple times. Let's move to approach style number one. It is the laid back situational. One of my best tips to make her attracted to you is to always assume attraction. Most guys put a girl on a pedestal because she's, she's pretty. You can't do that. Because if you put her above you in your head, then it's gonna be almost impossible to flirt with her. She wants a man who is not talking up to her, but instead places himself on her level. It makes her feel like she has finally met her match. But this approach has worked wonders for me in the past. Literally all you do is make an assumption about the girl you're talking to or girls that you're talking to. For example, one time I was getting a smoothie and the girl in front of me in line looked like she does yoga or exercising or something. And she ordered a strawberry banana smoothie. And I was like, wow, the most basic smoothie on the menu. And she immediately flirted back and was like, it's not basic. And then I got my smoothie and then I started to walk with her. I then made a cold read about her. So I'm assuming you do yoga or you just like the yoga style. And she did end up doing yoga, so we talked about that. We built that connection, but then I felt like it was too rapport building. So then I teased her on her drink again. So how's your basic strawberry smoothie? I mean, banana strawberry smoothie. And then she kicked me under the table. Always remember to talk to her as a lover rather than a friend. That is how to approach a girl anywhere, and it will work every single time. If you want to know how to flirt with her over text or in person, then make sure you watch all of our other videos. And tell me in the comments what you would like to hear more about. I'm Sona Kim, America's face of dating, and I'll see you in the next video.